This manuscript is called Codex Zakynthius because the first time we encounter it is on the island of Zakynthos in Greece. We don't know where it was made or when exactly it was copied. What's fascinating about it is that it's a palimpsest. It's a manuscript which contains two texts. Underneath, we have what seems to be the earliest Greek New Testament commentary manuscript in the form known as a catena. And over it and on top of that, once the pages have been palimpsested or washed off, is a New Testament lectionary, the sequence of readings from the New Testament arranged in the order that they appear and are read out over the course of Christian worship in a whole year with saints' days and individual Sundays and so on. So multispectral means that you're looking at an object with uh, many different colors of light. Uh, we use uh, all the several uh, bands through the visible range from uh, red to blue, but we also go beyond blue into the ultraviolet and we go beyond red into the infrared. Uh, although our eye can't see the ultraviolet or the infrared, the camera can and the parchment and the text respond to those lights so we can use those differences to try to, to distinguish between the erased writing and the overwritten writing. Based on the style of the handwriting, Codex Zakynthius is the earliest surviving example we have of a Greek New Testament Catena manuscript by at least a hundred years. Both the biblical text and the comments down the outside are written in majuscule script, so it's unique in that way, and majuscule script was abandoned in favour of minuscule script around the 8th century, so it suggests that this manuscript was copied at the latest, say, around the year 700. The main text that you can see on this page is the overwritten part, but the stains that are, you see underneath of it are the text that the scholars would like to read. Uh, we do um, a multispectral image of this page uh, by taking uh, pictures in several different wavelengths and then combining them together. What you see here is the outline of the biblical text and then the commentary that's over on the side. We also combine them together in a way to try to uh, enhance the characters. And here's uh, the enhancement of it and it puts it into color so that you can see the text now in color under text against the overwritten text. And this makes it easier for the scholars to be able to read it. So the point of this project is to make a new edition of the entire manuscript. We're going to make a full transcription of the Greek lectionary that you can now see to the naked eye. And with the benefit of the multispectral images, we will produce the first full transcription of the commentary text underneath and the biblical text. This is a combination of bands that was evaluated using statistics. And here the dark traces are the erased text, the text that the scholars are interested in and it's, it's rendered in a pseudo-color, it's, it's a false color, but you, you still can't really see it very clearly. So what I did was I uh, came up with a different rendering scheme, so I've gone back to the original now, and now if I pop that one up, uh, and let me zoom out on it a little bit so we can see a little more of it. Here you can see the smaller writing that's the commentary, and here you can see traces, though not very clearly, of the uh, writing of the original text. And those traces are relatively difficult to see, um, but you can see bits and pieces of them. As Codex Zakynthius is one of the earliest continuous witnesses to the first 11 chapters of the Gospel according to Luke, that's important in terms of the capturing early variant readings. And in terms of the Catenae comments down the outside, some of those are by Christian authors whose works have not been otherwise preserved. So this Catena is the only evidence we have for how this passage was interpreted by this particular author. With the help of the multispectral images, we'll be able to read those passages in a way that's impossible by the naked eye, and therefore recover lost aspects of early Christian commentary on the Gospels.